What is going on guys? Today we are looking at the best meta players under a million coins. This is where we start to get pretty big on all of the players. Goalkeepers are pretty standard. We don't really go through them, to be honest, after the highest rating, but or the highest price, in fact, which is going to be our man Van der Sar at 450. So anybody below is literally just what you want to go for. We have had the new introduction of the SBC for Lloris. From what I've seen, not bad at all. I feel like he's going to be one of them cards that you just get grinded through team of the year. That's pretty much about it. He's 91 rated though, so at least you've got something from him. I do still think Van der Sar is normally your best keeper to go for if that is in the bog standard base or the Thunderstruck. Yashin, to be honest, I am liking his center back card a little bit more than the goalkeeper, so that could be a potential of why this card is dropping. And then if we look at Schmeichel, he's still doing very well for people. Courtois an absolute gem for myself and the rest are still keepers that would definitely keep you in it. Fullbacks are a funny one because very similar to be honest to the goalkeepers you may have the introduction of a Roberto Carlos or a Carfu. The interesting thing for Carfu is the fact that we have got the base one hopefully coming either today or tomorrow for an SBC. So that card is dropping in price. This one again has done what all of the others do. He's gained a little bit of price after clicking the submit. So he's now 1.1. It is about a million from what I'm seeing. But naturally, the base version is what I'm looking at and most definitely a solid right back as an SBC. And I can imagine it's kind of the last piece other than a goalkeeper into every his teams, especially with how many SBCs we've got. When it comes to a lot of the left backs, we're looking at Roberto Carlos now dropping under that 1.2 mil mark. He's now had the competitions of Alfonso Davies at only 390. We've got Furland still very expensive. I was meant to put the other version in, the, what is it, the Centurions. That one's coming in about 700, I believe, which is a hell of a lot cheaper. I don't know, I must have clicked Dynasties instead, but when we look at the Centurions, that one would be under the mill. That's 500,000 coins, a lot cheaper. Still a few different stat, uh, kind of differences. Mainly we're looking at one physical, one defending, and one pace. So it's not really that much of a difference, to be honest. So I would probably go with the Centurions just out of 700k on a saving. Teo Hernandez, nice card. He is leaked to now come in the team of the year, which is going to be absolutely huge as that card is going to be broken. We have got Cancelo as a right back. Obviously, a lot of people will have gone for the Pep's legacy version if they have not done an Alaba. So you would have got him to like 91, 92. And the possibility if... You figured it out before, just didn't finish it before. You could have two play star pluses on him. James, I'm still a big fan of at 415. Very, very good prem right back. And then Frimpong is just disastrously incredible. 97 on the base pace. Once he starts to really get them upgrades into that 90, this is going to be a right back everybody's looking at. And the Dutch nation. So you can't go wrong with that. And Carl Walker is just Carl Walker. Managed to get the winter wild card that can play center back or right back. Or you have got the winter wild card upgrade, which was the evolutions that could put him as a right back and obviously evolve him to an 86, I want to say. I'm pretty sure it was the 86 as well. It just came out the day after. So if you've already got him, it turned him into an 87, which is nice from keeping balance. So you could have an 87 there. We still have the two SBCs. I think they are some of the best price left backs that you could have got. Havertz is still there for a few more days at 185 and obviously Backer is now finally at a final form but she has expired so you'd only be able to get her in player year in player reviews. Not gonna lie we have some tasty centre backs now. We're looking at the big boy budget. We're looking at Maldini, Yashin, Alberto and Inform Virgil. There is some absolutely stunning cards that you can get. Naturally we have had Blanc as an SBC. We've had a Thiago Silva. Moderate but still decent. Maldini as an absolutely huge one. Everybody's got a gold Virgil at a minimum it seems. Then you throw in a few of these extras. So if we look at someone like a Varane he's always going to be very meta relevant just purely on pace, anticipate plus, and also the defending physical. Rudiger is very similar to Ramos, good build for them. Naturally, they are good center backs with decent pace. Personally, I'm a big fan of Ramos in that CDM role, so it is the argument between 
who did you pack and what card do you actually want? Because both of them come in at a decent price now, but I do find that CDM to work really, really well. Lucio, still as meta as anything, under 500,000 now. I can imagine he will be on the verge of getting an upgrade at some point, like Company. Company is taking his place for me at this point. The UCL Hero Company, even though it is, I think, just a one upgrade, is absolutely brilliant. He's got that Anticipate Plus that works really well alongside of Virgil. You can go with the man. Maldini as well, don't get me wrong, Maldini's still as good as ever, I just don't really like the slide tackle plus as much, it's decent in some opportunities, but for me, I don't slide that much, and if I do slide, I'm telling you I'm not getting the ball basically. Yashin on the other hand, really good card, I think they've absolutely smashed it with him, when it comes to what we think an outfield goalkeeper should do, we're thinking of Czech, we're thinking of Milinkovic Savic, we're not thinking of just a normal good player, it has to be groundbreaking meta, they're just unbelievable, there's no beating them, and I must admit Yashin definitely does a good role, if you manage to pack him, he's going to be fantastic, but the only problem we've got with centre-backs now is Maldini SBC, Blanc SBC, many icon upgrades predominantly people are going with what they've already got rather than buying cards there's not really a defender i would buy i've packed virgil and then i finished maldini's sbc we managed to get blanc out of a gamble icon upgrade so really all of these center backs now are pretty much worthless for price because you've already got a maldini sbc that is a guaranteed big pull then you could go get a virgil at a gold he's like eighty thousand coins so really, all of these are just if you've got them and maybe you want to give them a game. Naturally, they are all fantastic, though. That's the best bit about it. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to u 7 buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. And finally, we're at a price budget of the midfielders that it looks really nice. Like I said, you've obviously got Ramos. I think he's absolutely fantastic in that CDM role. It's almost like having that fifth defender is sitting in the middle he's got the anticipate a body type that is brilliant they've upgraded him well i'm very happy with this version of him you have got the arguments of rudiger and also tamora that came i don't think they quite hold a torch to ramos they're definitely decent and i would say rudiger out of the two was my favorite but even though tamora is a bit more expensive i still found rudiger to have that the intercept works really well, but then the body type works even better for him personally. We have got Sauer, who is coming as a team of the year icon. I think the only woman team of the year icon at the moment, but she's going to be phenomenal. She's already a very good attacking slash defensive. If you go with the anchor, she's definitely not got the worst defending in the world. But I think she just splits the ball up really, really well. The relentless... As much as I'm not a big fan of it, it can work. It, it does work for the stamina purposes, so you only have to take out one person. But naturally, I can imagine that will be a lot of a second place star plus on these cards as well. But if we look back at some of the normal players, Rodri, phenomenal. I know I personally prefer the ice, but power shot, CDM, kind of put him in that center mid role. He just absolutely owns it. It's, it's what we needed. Rodri needed that card. The pace upgrade is perfect for him and the same with Allison. it's a different card whether i would say he's worth putting 660,000 coins into before team of the season um, team of the year i don't if you've not done him already there's a reason he finishes on the 30th of january no he finishes is he already when does he finish let's go on to the sbcs and find out because he expires it's not gonna tell me is it where is it he currently expires. Allison is got eight, ten days left, which would take him to. It takes him to like the middle of team of the year. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In fact, it takes him to just after the release of the full team. Whether we sit, oh no, I think it takes him. It'll take him to the day that it all should come out. So for me, if you've not already done him, I would say leave him because we are going to get a lot of SBCs, a lot of gambles, and hopefully some good pack look for everybody. So whether you want to do him now, it's a big ask for an SBC. But naturally remember, Ronaldo, Zico, Carfu, Henri's just come out. There's a lot of pools that we can go and get from SBCs currently. Bellingham, another team of the year that has been confirmed. Naturally, I would say now the team of the year is going to be the next best thing. Naturally, you're gonna get, if you're gonna go for one, Bellingham is gonna be phenomenal in that mid. He works the the pitch just perfectly. 
Kaka on the other hand, waiting for that 5-5 five five from him. And if we can upgrade him even more, that is going to make this card even better. He's a Brazilian icon. Everybody loves him. He's got the agility down to an absolute T when it comes to dribbling. Pace is decent. He's got the shooting and the passing. He's just... A very nostalgic icon for a lot of people. Kaka is one of the one of the goats of the game, most definitely. And one that is taking the game by storm. I love Valverde. He is brilliant in every version that he's got. I like the radioactive in case I don't have too many La Ligas, which I don't think I have loads. Courtois in net, so I get the Real Madrid link. And then Lorente right back. But I don't really have too many actual La Ligas. But naturally, icons would sort that down anyway. If you wanted the cheaper version, you've got the inform with just a one decrease on everything. And naturally, no radioactive for 318k compared to, what, 915 I've got here. It's a big price difference if you don't want to pay all out. Ramirez, big fan. Absolutely love Ramirez. He is like, he's almost a yin and yang to Yaya Torre because they both work exceptionally well at different things. Yaya is the brute force. Naturally, you can go and get the triple threat, but this is the only one under a million coins. Still going to be phenomenal. Stats are part of a card, but definitely for Yaya, he just proves everything wrong with that because he is just a monster no matter where you go. And Ramirez is very similar, but he's a bit more pacier. He's a little bit smaller. We've got, what, 6'2 and 5'10, but he is just everywhere. The Incept Plus is perfect. They work so well together. And if we get a footage with both of them in the Prem, regardless, it doesn't matter. That is going to be a pairing that I really want to try out. Modric had to be in here as well. To finish off, Modric is one of the better players we got from the very start of the game and instantly just went to that 93. The passing is unbelievable. The left stick is phenomenal. And he still has a very good base rate. Pace is 82, which you can add a little bit of shadow or hunter to him. And naturally, he's got a bit of defending and shooting as well. He's almost that full package in a very smaller card, but very nimble and very good at getting the ball forward. We then have a star-studded wingers as well. This price range is absolutely perfect. If you're looking for the one or two players, because naturally, if you're going to put a million coin price on everybody, you'd probably be looking at like a nine to 10 million coin team because naturally goalkeepers are going to be a bit cheaper. You're going to find some center backs cheaper, same as also fullbacks. But when it comes to wingers, they are absolutely on the nail. Salah coming in at 992, beautiful upgrade for him. Whether we see an honorable for him, I, I don't know. I feel like he should do. Again, it all depends on if the Ronaldo uh, player is a SBC that's for team of the year and he doesn't get 12th man, it will be interesting to see where he actually goes with it. But 992, there's multiple versions. You have got seven versions of Sala that you can choose from. You've got three team of the weeks, a player of the month that you could have done, a trailblazer and the winter wildcard. So there is definitely an abundance of what you can go with depending on your price range. Same with Hansen. She has got two different versions from the Trailblazer, which has got the Finesse Plus and the Inform that's still got the Trickster. Both of them are very good, but they are half price between them. So you've got this one coming in at 816 and 430 for the Inform. So again, depending on what you want to go with, that is a price difference that you can make for the same rating as well. Ginola is Ginola. He's 5'5". Five five. I've been seeing him pop up a hell of a lot more with a lot more of the hero picks coming out. So it will be interesting to see where his price does go. Naturally, does have a triple threat as well, but that is coming in at nearly 2 million coins and most definitely is as good as this card as well. If we come down a little bit, we've got Martinelli, very similar to Allison. Little bit expensive, only got a few days left. He definitely won't make it to the full team of the year. So you could potentially go with... Almost, you, you could get him done, but realistically, I would say save packs for the full team of the year. Even if you open some of the attacker packs, you might be able to get him done. But personally, I would wait because we've got Zico coming, Carfu's coming, Henri's already there. We have got a lot of SBCs and they're just ones that are leaked. It's not of the full list. Plus, if you do manage to get a team of the year, that 700k would potentially look like a little bit of a waste. If we look down a bit more, we've got Son. I like Son. I feel like he's starting to lose his touch a little bit because 
the price for him is just absolutely massive. When you, if you did do the player of the month like myself, I much preferred that version for how much it costs compared to now. I'm not going to put in another 800k when I've got technically an SBC that now would have cost a million coins. Plus, then you've got the inform that just absolutely spits in my face at 305,000. But Son is just there at the minute. I think we're waiting for that 5-5 five, five Son. Jarzinho Garincha, they definitely take over Best, who is, I believe, coming in as Team of the Year icon. Whereas Jarzinho's got himself the Centurions, and Garincha's got himself a Winter Wild Card that's just a bit above the price. But both of them are phenomenal right wings. And to be honest, I didn't realize she's only 475k. That would be one of the best purchases you could buy this year. If she does get into the Team of the Year, that's going to be a ground, like literally a game changer because she is phenomenal going forward as a striker as a winger it doesn't matter as a forward she is absolutely perfect going forward i have put sterling in here because he definitely is available for the full team of the year for the whole team to come out whether you complete him i would go with probably the ice more purely based on that five star four star just because if he's on the wing i'm not really going to put him into the center i'd rather have a little bit more skills if you are going into the cam role potentially the four star five star might be more beneficial but it's a nice card i just think a bit expensive for what i'm trying and then the final two we've chucked in a felix i like a 5-4 felix he always has a nice upgrade he's got a great build very agile and very quick whereas rashi i do prefer the fire i feel that like the centurions now is slowly out of touch the 5-3 could have looked at a 5-4, but naturally that's going to be more in the fire and ice that is about 1.3 and 1.6. And then on to the strikers then. So a big list and a lot of icons more than anything. Naturally, your Mbappes, your Cruyffs, all of them are still above the budget. They, they just are. That, that unfortunately is the case with them. They are millions of coins, 2, 3, 4, even in R9's case of 5, 6 million, I think still. I want to say he's definitely in that price range. So he's 6.1 so you can tell the difference between the absolute top and a million coins and i think we're at a point now where i'd happily take any of these strikers i like to have two strikers personally i'm not a solo striker sort of player you could argue you could have two very good wingers and someone like a drogba a harland even to some extent Henri with his rapid it could work but personally, I like having two. So I have personally Mbappe, Eto. We've just finished uh, Zola's evolutions. It could be a little bit of a changer for me. But then also, you have got Eusebio's SBC. But in terms of what we've got here, Drogba to start with, very good striker. Wouldn't necessarily go all out and pay for him. But if I did pack him, I'd be very happy. Just personally down to, he is a monster running forward. He's got that strength ability. He's a big old unit at 6'2". He's got the power and he's got a bit of pace as well. He naturally is a very good finisher. The only thing missing from him, I would have loved to change that aerial into a power shot. Because that would have broken this card. Benzema Di Natale as the two lower prices of actual players and a hero technically. I like both of them. I think Benzema has his own specific role. Very much controlled on the ball. Phenomenal shooting, but he's not necessarily going to run on to everything. Whereas Di Natale is kind of the opposite. He can finish everything like Benzema, but he has got the absolute pace to go along with it. Same with Dalglish. Absolutely brilliant striker. A lot of people did finish that Thunderstruck, which is fair enough. That came in at a very big price as well, over a million coins. But I still like the 4-5 Dalglish. Still a good striker. You obviously can get a, a considerable amount of these from upgrades as well. I don't think we've had a winter wild card upgrade icon SBC yet. But naturally that will come as well. So it will be where the points we can get a Torres, a Raul as well. Which again, both of them... Great strikers. Raul this year has definitely surprised me. Everybody at the start said, get Raul, try Raul, do him. He's absolutely broken. If the finesse shot plus was broken as well, I could imagine he is absolutely brilliant. He's still a very good card, even with that being nerfed. But naturally, with that power share, with that finesse shot plus being broken at the start, I could see why a lot of a lot of people were going for him. Eto is just Eto. He's, he's perfect in every version. He's the quick striker. He's got the quick step. He's just a good pick up and play sort of striker. Is how I I kind of branch that term because. Anybody can use him. Whereas like a Haaland, a Lewandowski, a Kane, a Benzema, and even a Drogba to some extent. 
if you've got a specific play style, it might not suit him. Like I personally don't really use Haaland too much or Lewandowski and Kane because it doesn't fit how I play because I like my more nimble players and Neymar, Ronaldinho, Messi, they kind of suit better. And that's where Eto just works to both of them. If you want him to feet, brilliant. If you want him running over the top, he can do it as well. And that is personally why I absolutely do love Eto in most games. His versions, no matter what you got, all did the same. Pushkas, on the other hand, he's always been elite. The, the one thing that I did forget, that he starts off with a four-star, three-star. That is not very good to start with. Naturally, he will get an upgrade and, and already has got an upgrade in the Thunderstruck icon. He did get a 94, so got the upgrade as well. Just didn't get a weak foot upgrade. So naturally, we wait for that foot birthday icon. And then the final few we have got, obviously, Haaland at a big price at 890. Still a household name. He's going to bring in more price from Prem City. The fact that this was an upgradable card did have that ability and very, very hard to pack. Henri is the brand new SBC. Naturally, I can imagine a lot of people will be either already packing him from an icon upgrade or finishing him over team of the year. He really isn't that expensive for the name and level of this card, which is always nice. And Gerd Muller, I've seen him pop up a hell of a lot more. I don't know if for some reason everybody just getting him, but he has been in a lot more teams than anticipated and he is an absolute goal getter. And that's going to be everybody. Let me know down below what you think and how many players under a million coins have you got in your team? Take care. Pooses.